Hey everyone, this is Lucky70X, welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Mass Attack. In the last episode we finished up World 1, in this episode we're going to start World 2. Um, this is the World 2 background, the title screen does change every time you beat the world, um, or you go to a new world, so this is the World 2, 2 one. We saw the World 1 one, and uh, we briefly saw the World 3 one accidentally, because uh, that was from my old professionally completed file, that's actually not professionally completed because I never got all the gold stars, like I said. Um, although we missed one last episode, unfortunately, but we'll hope to get back on track now. Welcome to Sandy Canyon! We're back down to one Kirby. Um, it's a cool place, except it's really not because it's a desert, so it's actually kind of hot. Although, there's water in this one, so there's the water... A, we're already at the Oasis. That was quick. Let's get started, though. Uh, I recommend Stage 1 over Stage 2, which is the other option you can do if only one Kirby. Because Stage 2, you're going to need five Kirbys at one point to get, uh, I think at least five. Maybe even more, I'm not sure how many you need to get one of the medals, and you at one point you explicitly need all 10 Kirbys to get that medal, so if you do stage 1 first, you should have enough Kirbys by the time you get to said stage to get all the medals, so uh, order, it's something I recommend. Although this stage is unique in a, well, first of all, we saw the, the main mechanic, which is, um, I guess I'll go back and show, the sand here, as we saw the beam bomb once again in the game demonstrating um, how stuff can happen, your, your Kirby will sink and eventually die if you let them, so uh, keep track of all your Kirbys, make sure they're not drowning in sand because they will die. And death is not very good, so you don't want to die. No, no, no. Also, welcome to these cactuses. They will um, be all spiny and hurt your Kirby's if they run to them, so I recommend against doing that. Generally not the best idea. Fruit will sink into the uh, sand eventually, but it takes a while, as you can see. So, uh, really not that much of a rush to get the, the fruit. Um, you usually have plenty of time to get it. But, uh, using the maximum today, we can already get our first Kirby, so we're back up to two again. And, uh... We will very quickly get back our ranks. We should actually be back to 10 probably by the end of this episode. In fact, we need to to get all the, the, the medals, so I hope I'm back up to 10 because it's kind of required. Yay! Anyway, watch out for those ones that are always spiky. You don't want to hit those ones. These, this enemy always makes me so nervous because like it's so easy to just screw up and uh, hit the, the always spiny stuff and get hurt. It's never a good time. I hope I got that banana. I think I got the banana. Anyway. There's no, there's really no time limit for hitting these. I always like feel like time pressure. Like this is sort of like, like I always feel like this is like the those coin blocks from Mario that you have to like hit rapidly or else they'll stop. It's really not. You have all the time in the world to get the fruit you need from that thing. So uh, I don't know why I rush myself. Anyway, the plants are brown this time because we're in the desert. Get it? <laughs> anyway, um, this is where you can get one of these things if you need to, but we don't need to quite yet because we haven't died yet. So that's always good. That guy just went flying. No, 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 don't go peeling. Really? Uh, you know, my, my policy in World War I was caution's good. And then I just was not being cautious. However, the good news is I will still be able to easily get a gold star in this level. Um, I can certainly mostly off-screen this because, oddly enough about this level, if you head over here, and you head over in this direction, um... Well, the, 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 I'm actually kind of, kind of glad that so I can show this off later, but, um, the level ends here. We, we're, we're missing, like, two-thirds of the level, though. So, for some reason, this level has two exits, and it's not like they lead to anywhere different or do anything. It's just, this is just a simply, uh, one for you to get a gold star easy and, I guess, get fruit easier because you only have one Kirby. So, I guess that's their plan for doing that. I don't know. It's kind of weird, in my opinion. But, um, there we go. No, I don't want to hit the bubbles. Just gonna tell us how to swim. We already know how to swim. We did that last episode. Um, but hey, this gives us a chance to get some more fruit and get the rest of the medals in this level. So, uh, the long way is obviously the best way to start off with. And the nice thing is, because I already took damage, I guess I don't like to worry about taking damage. Um, I'm gonna kill these guys anyway, because they're annoying. Just, actually, these guys are kind of hard to kill when you only have four Kirbys. Because they take a lot, like, enemies do take a lot longer to kill. Like, you get used to having all ten Kirbys, and then you go, like, these levels where, like, I'm not even about killing them, um, where suddenly you don't have as many Kirbys, and the enemies become a lot tougher, surprisingly. Anyway, head over here, the Rainbow Metal's over here, as well as the Warp Goal, because, whoa, no, 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 I didn't mean to hit that rock, I didn't mean to break that one, didn't mean to break that one, didn't want to get my Kirbys sucked into that thing that will kill them instantly, so, uh, not very good, but I got the Rainbow Metal, and the Warp Goal is right over there, so... With that being said, hi guy, you are my best of friends, I'm going to kill you now. Actually, whoa, 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 I'm almost out of air too. Because you gotta remember, when you have only four Kirbys, you only have four bars of air, so you have to be careful for that as well, because you can easily run out of air if you're not paying attention to this one, so... 
be extra special careful. You do not want to dime skate with this guy because he's gonna be a nuisance if I don't. Will you die? Thank you. Um, I'm gonna refill on air and let's move forward. I'm not even gonna care about that other guy. He's not important. I don't even care. I'm not even mad. It's a giant squid! Oh my goodness! Why did I react like that? That's really stupid. Anyway, wait for him to stop doing his little shaky shaky dance and then uh, grab on this thing and tap as fast as you can! And then it switches, or, okay, no, it's, supposed to, it's supposed to switch, but I just do it so fast that apparently it doesn't. Anyway, once you unplug this guy, it causes a giant tidal wave, and I don't, I'm not going to have my Kirby's Bell scare. They're going to swim against the current like a badass, or swim with the current, actually, which is not nearly as badass. But we're out of the uh, oasis, or well, we're out of this underwater section, at least. It's just a very, very brief one. Um, most of the level actually takes place above ground, which is nice. Also, all the flowers are blooming! Hooray! We have saved the world! Hello, Kirby's. You guys are kind of stunned. Uh, is there anything over- No, we can't even go high enough to get over that. Okay. My curiosity has been sated. Anyway, introduction to these guys. Um, and also a very important mechanic as not that they can hit things upward. Once again, the game doing a good job at demonstrating mechanic- or uh, mechanics of the game. Yeah, that's the right word. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to basically avoid those guys for the rest of the level, and they will involve our next three medals as well. I love these enemies, it's giant happy cactus dude, and he'll uh, hit your, your guys and stun them, and then you, the flowers will come up, and don't hit the spiky parts, because the spiky parts will hurt you. But, um, no! Oh god! Oh god! <laughs> I was really close. Okay. Flower, 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 I love him though, he, he does his little cactus dance, and he's all happy. Here's his cactus dance, it's the dancing cactus, I love this guy, he's so cool! He's a dancing cactus, except, and then he eventually dies, and then you rip him in half! It's kind of brutal, actually. Just rip the guy in half! My god! Kirby! Why? Why have you done this, Kirby? Anyway, don't let the metal fall in the water, because it will uh, be lost forever! And you don't want that. I don't want to redo this level past that one point that I was able to get that, that secondary exit thing for some reason. Anyway, more fruit, which means more Kirby's, which makes me even happier. So let's do it. Let's go ahead and uh, not get hit by this guy because I don't trust him. All right, now that that guy's gone, I'm just gonna quickly bash this thing to pieces, get all the fruit, grab all the fruit, and I think I'm gonna be able to get yeah, easily gonna get another whole another Kirby from here. Oh, um, and like a whole fourth of another Kirby, so that's good. The more Kirby's I can get, um, like I said, I need to get to ten by the end of the next level, or by like the mid of the next level. So uh... anyway, this is actually an important mechanic. If you go over here, just Spark your Kirby's here. This guy will actually hit up the metal for you. And voila! You got yourself a metal. Not too shabby. And then the last metal of the day is in that door down there, which uh, is pretty easy to get to. All you need to do is kill that big guy down there. Hi, guy! I'm here to murder you! And we're gonna disengage and re engage. And disengage and re engage. And kill him. I always like to do that instead of getting stunned. The whole disengage, re engage thing uh, works a lot. You can't kill this guy. But it takes a while, we don't have, really have the Kirby power to bother, he's not going to give us anything important, so I don't really care. Get away from the guy though, he's going to, that Kirby is like on top of him, like, this is a safe place to be! No, it's not a safe place to be, it's actually a horrible place to be. Freaking Kirby. Anyway, we take this raft ride for like two seconds, but actually it's just a, I guess the raft is an excuse for auto-scroll or something, I don't know. But uh, there's more of these things, we've seen them back in World 1, so uh, we know what to do here. Break all the stuff, get all the bananas, get ourselves yet another Kirby by one fruit. And uh, seven's a good place to be, actually. I'm definitely going to be able to get at least three in the next level, so that'll help things out a lot. Careful for the spiky thing. Don't want to hit that. And this will be our final medal of the level. So we got all the medals. Can you grab it? Thank you. Uh, so all we really need to do is just gold star, which I'll just go back and do using that easy method. This is a very easy level to get a gold star on, thanks to that. Um, if only later levels were this easy, I might actually consider the gold star thing, but, well, you know, <laughs> so far no one's complained about it, at least. Uh, I've actually finally released the LP not too long ago. I'm gonna kill you again, because you're worth a lot of fruit. Disengage. Re-engage. Disengage. Oh, those guys are just like, no! Not gonna disengage, I'm gonna murder him instead! That's right, I have seven of them now, so I have a bit more firepower. Get out of the freaking water! Freaking Kirby's! Rebellious little guys. Anyway, that's actually the end of the level right there. So, uh, bit of a longer level. The levels are getting a bit longer, but I can still do a uh, fit two in this one, I'm sure. Um, I sort of just talked a lot. 
But I'm gonna head back into this level, and I'm going to, uh, gold star it, so... And I'll be able to grab an extra Kirby or so along the way, which is always good, so... I'll take advantage of that, just to make sure we can have enough for next level. Although, I'm pretty sure we'll have enough for next level. And Kirby number 8. And Kirby number 9. We've got pretty much almost all our Kirbys now, which is pretty nice. Anyways, we're back here at the end of this, uh... Short part of the level, I guess. I don't know, but it, it counts for a gold star. So despite the fact that you missed most of the level, easy gold star to get. So, uh, yay us, I guess. Yeah. Anyway, it's still a pretty short video, so we will definitely do another stage. Because stage two isn't really as long. It's only a three metal stage. Anyway, so let's go ahead and get to it. Now that we have nine Kirby's and we're pretty much four fruit from getting our tenth one, I'll have no problem completing this level fully. Although I think you don't really need to do that level twice. Um... It's a pretty easy level to get a lot of fruit on. It's Cactus Guy again! Dancing Cactus Guy! I have lots of guys now so I can murder you really quickly! In one go! Break him in half! I, that's just so violent! There's so much violence! Kirby, why are you so violent? Why? What have you- what has the world done to you? Anyway, uh, now that we have- this, I mean, this level is designed for one Kirby, so uh, having- Nine of them. I have, those cactus guys make me nervous now, because I lost- I, I messed my, up my thing over there before. And there's a Maxim Tomato right there, which is pretty easy to get, so, uh... Here's those Maxim Tomato, and that's actually not even worth, like, Kirby's name, where we're just getting points. Oh god, Kirby's! Don't die! Don't die! Don't die! We'll choose a bit more hectic, I guess. Or maybe I'm just in a more hectic mood, because I'm just sort of flipping out on stupid things. Okay, I hate... You know what? You know what? We're just gonna do this the easy way. Go up around here. And that Kirby, one Kirby is just gonna... You know what? Fine, Kirby, you can just... Kirby, no! <laughs> I heard him screaming! I heard him dying! Those cactus things really make me annoying, though, because... Uh, are really annoying, because if you don't go the right angle, you can easily, uh... Get your... You know what? That's enough. We don't need any more than that. Just not taking any chances here. Anyway, if you want some extra fruit, uh... Hit this thing, and you'll come over here, and there'll be even more fruit, because it's one of those fruit blocks, so, uh... This one's a bit more unique, though, in that it, uh, sort of shuffles the blocks around on occasion, which can sort of throw you off a little bit, though. Um, a solution is to break the no the breakable blocks, just because then there'll be less blocks for them to shuffle around, but, uh, I don't really care. I'm just gonna go ahead and bash this thing. Grab the fruit that you can, then go ahead and bash the rest. I'm just gonna <laughs> wow, I bashed that thing, like, on the inward swing there. That was pretty crazy. I approve of this message. Anyway, um, like I said, it's a pretty short level, so, uh... We're not going to have much problem completing. I believe up there is the goal shortcut. That would make sense. That usually is it a hidden block like that. So, hello, goal shortcut. How you doing? But let's get to the main mechanic of this level, though, because we haven't really got to the main mechanic yet, which is, um... Well, we can't actually see it quite yet, but it involves these things on the ground that we're passing here. Um, I actually have to backtrack to get that metal. That rainbow metal can be a little tricky to get on the first try, just because it's a little counterintuitive. Those counter- those cactus guys scare me! They scare me! But for some reason, if you charge at them, you usually end up being just fine. So, uh... I don't know. Anyway, cutscene! Because this game, as usual, demonstrates what it has to do very well. Where this guy comes along, and basically this cloud of things makes me, makes plants grow. He can make the cactus guys go into giant cac cactus guys, he can make the other plants grow into, like, those tumble plants. Careful, though, because he will try to shock your stuff, and do not make him shock the plants! Because it will actually kill the plants, and they can be, uh, very vital towards getting, uh, the, the metals back there. So make sure you do not get them killed, because then you will be all sorts of sad. And no one wants to be sad. Um, you can actually kill temporary. you can't permanently kill this guy, but you can temporarily kill him if you, uh, jump, if you, uh, jump him with a Kirby, so... Anyway, the way you get the rainbow metal, you get, you get this guy in here once, it's gonna make a brown one. Do not kill the brown one yet, uh, make him go over here again, and do it a second time. And they'll become a giant one! And that will actually... I think we've seen one of those before. Um, it'll make it, it roll, basically, to the direction that we hit it in. How did you end up on this side, Kirby's? Get over here, kill the cactus again, or kill the cloud again, because I don't want it to be involved in this. Will you just dot... get on the right... I don't know if it's gonna kill him or not, and I, I don't want to take any chances, so... I don't know what's going on right now. All, all the Kirby's are, like, doing, like, 50 different things. Okay, you guys... get on this side. You guys... Kill the cloud, you guys. Something happened. Oh, God, okay, it actually doesn't. Uh, that's right. The big ones automatically bring them on. I'm probably overreacting. I, because I, I don't know for a fact if, if that kills them, and I just don't like to take chances because you know chances. Make, I don't. I want you dead. You're being annoying. 
That'll give him you know, like five. You know, he like responds in like five seconds though, so yay for five seconds of solitude. Uh, we're gonna need him again to get the other another medal, I believe, if I remember correctly. Or no, I, oh yes, 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 you do actually, because um, you'll, you'll see in a little bit. Anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and crush this thing. Like I said, be careful of him though, because the cloud. Um, if he zaps the plants, he will kill them, and he will hurt your Kirby's as well if he zaps. There we go. He does his little zappy zap thing. Mega Man, fire your zappy gun. I don't know why I just made that reference. It was pretty stupid. Oh, yeah, he's gone. Come back, Mr. Guy. I need you to grow my plants. Because I want more fruit. It's a bit of an odd level, I guess. Um, get off him, Kirby. He doesn't need to die yet. I need him for something. Actually, I need him for this thing right... I think it's right here is the thing I need him for. No, it's not this one yet. Um, perhaps we can get a demonstration of him killing something, though. See? He can kill the plants. So, uh, careful. Oh, we need him right here. Okay. So if he grows this thing... It becomes one of the ten ones! And I want you to go away now because I do not want you frying that ten thing. I don't know if you can or not, but um, I'll take any chance. Anyway, he's far, he's far enough away, actually. Uh, we can quickly get on here and activate the cutscene for this as usual. So uh, before he shocks it, we'll just pull this thing out and get ourselves our second medal, as well as uh, more points that don't matter in the slightest. Yay for points that don't matter in the slightest! Okay, come, come do this thing as well. Uh, this, cloud, this, cloud, this cloud guy's a little annoying, to be honest. This, this level's not one of my favorites, just because it can be a little obnoxious just to direct him around and uh, have him not then burn the plants that you want to, him to actually use. This guy's a douchebag. Anyway, it's another one of these ones. Grow it twice. Uh, just going to push this guy around here. I'm going to grow it again. Throw all the Kirby's on here before he uh, comes close. And we're going to go for a ride of destruction! I always love doing this. It's just so satisfying to do that. Anyway, um, we don't actually think, we don't actually get anything from that. Just sort of a shortcut towards the end here. So, uh, the next step to do is to kill another dancing cactus. I love these guys. I really do love these guys. I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> these guys are so funny. And once again, we we'll snap them in half. But uh, if you bring them down here, basically we're going to get uh, to our third medal by doing that. So shoot through this cannon. We head up into the sky. Where we get a little bit of a bonus section with a third medal on this giant cloud. So we're going to chase after it. Send your Kirby's on to molest this cloud guy, pretty much. And uh, you'll get your medal. This poor cloud, he's just, he's just trying to have a good time. And these Kirby's just come up and just do bad things. Bad touch. Bad touch. But that's our third and final medal for this level. We're going to head over here. I think, I think this is the first episode we haven't gotten an achievement during. That being said, I probably am going to get an achievement now because I jinxed myself or something. I'm trying to think, are there any achievements in these first two levels? Because we're getting to the point where there are a lot of these leftover achievements are very level-specific. Level um, like, you know, get all the fruit in stage 3-3 of Green Grounds, or 1-3 of Green Grounds, or whatever the heck. But, uh, Gold Star, that's the end of that level. Got everything you need to do there. Interesting level, I guess, but the mechanic's a little weird, I guess. I said I guess twice. Okay, we got something new in Extras. Is that all we're going to get, though? Looks like it. So, what do we get in extras? Another mini game? Indeed. Kirby Quest is a very funny mini game. I think this is the last mini game, though. I think 65 and beyond is, uh, is other stuff. And there is another page of extras. So, I think we've gotten all the mini games at this point. Um, so, the non extra stuff I'll probably will show off. I'll still probably start showing off some of this extra. I don't remember what the next one is actually at the top of my head. I think it's like a gallery, actually. I won't show that off. We'll, we'll figure it out. Anyways, um, for now, this is Lucky70X signing out. I'll see you guys next time for more of Sandy Canyon. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Bye-bye.